Because of their height, Shaq O'Neal and Yao Ming were able to get good careers and fame. But on the other hand, there are also people who suffer from being too tall, even going so far as to call them living giants. At first, they will feel happy because their tall bodies have opened up many opportunities and popularity. However, there are other things lurking in the way, such as a weak heart, joint pain, and other diseases. After searching the world, here are 11 living giants that actually exist in the real world. Number 1. Robert Wadlow, born in 1918 in Alton, Illinois. Known as the Alton Giant or the Gentle Giant, Wadlow stands 8 feet 11.1 inches tall or 2.72 meters. Robert Wadlow can be this tall because of a pituitary gland disorder, which causes excessive production of growth hormone. Since childhood, Robert Wadlow's body growth has been seen abnormal. His growth is much faster than his friends. In fact, at the age of 8, he had already surpassed the height of his father, who was 5 feet 11 inches 1.80 meters tall. Wadlow's story went viral and spread across the country in 1936, at the age of 18. He went on to join the Ringling Brothers Circus in the United States and Canada as a major star. However, Wadlow's growth also brought health problems. His legs weakened so that he became dependent on a cane when walking. In addition, the heart was also working hard because it had to circulate blood throughout Robert Wadlow's giant body. Robert Wadlow died in 1940 at the age of 22 due to blisters on his ankles. The second is Sultan Kosin, born in 1982 in Turkey, stands at 8.8 .8 feet or 2.51 meters. Sultan Kosin is this tall for the same reason as Robert Wadlow. In 2010, Kozin finally underwent successful surgery to remove a tumor, and this stopped his growth. He has the same problem as other tall people, which is the difficulty in finding clothes, shoes, and jobs that suit him. In 2009, Kozin was honored by Guinness World Records as the tallest man. This made him famous, and he appeared on television shows and attended events in many countries. In 2013, he married Merv Debo, a woman of normal height, about 5 feet 8 inches or 1.73 meters. The next one is Yao Ming, or Yao the Giant, who is famous as a former basketball athlete, born in 1980 in Shanghai, China, with a height of 2.29 meters. Ming's height is mainly due to genetics, as both of his parents are also very tall, with his father standing 6 feet 7 inches or 2.1 meters, and his mother 6 feet 3 inches or 1.91 meters. Yao Ming, besides being known as an admirable and humble international basketball star, also has a good sense of humor. He often makes jokes about his height and funny incidents involving him. His presence as an inspiring athlete is not just limited to the basketball court. After his retirement, Yao Ming became actively involved in wildlife conservation efforts, particularly in the fight against illegal wildlife trade. Now we fly to France, where there is a wrestling legend named André René Rusimov or Andre the Giant, a professional wrestling legend and actor, born in 1946 in Grenoble, France. He stands 7 feet 4 inches or 2.24 meters tall and weighs about 520 pounds or 235 kilograms. Andre the Giant's large body is the result of gigantism and acromegaly, a condition in which the body produces too much growth hormone. Andre began his wrestling career in the 1970s, Thanks to his bulky appearance, strength, and agility, he quickly became famous. Throughout his career, Andre the Giant was involved in memorable matches and feuds, especially his iconic rivalry with Hulk Hogan. Andre's fame was further heightened by his acting portrayal of Fezzik in the 1987 movie The Princess Bride. Unfortunately, Andre the Giant passed away in 1993 at the age of 46 due to congestive heart failure. Vikas Upal the tallest man in India was born in 1986 in Haryana, India, with a height of about 8 feet 3 inches or 2.52 meters. Unfortunately, Vikas Upal's height was never officially documented by the Guinness World Records. Only the local media and the Indian public, which later allowed him to taste the Indian film industry. Vikas Upal, on the other hand, lived a normal life in his hometown, working as a farmer and cloth merchant. Tragically, Vikas Uppal passed away in 2007 at the age of 21 during a failed tumor removal surgery. Next up was Edouard Beaupre, the Willow Bunch Giant. 
Edward was born in 1881 in Willow Bunch, Canada, standing at 8 feet 3 inches or 2.52 meters. Edward's strength as a young man caught the attention of traveling circus bosses, and he was recruited as a talent at the age of 17, filling in for traveling circuses and carnivals by displaying his incredible strength and height. After his circus days, Edward went on to pursue a career in professional wrestling and gained popularity due to his massive size and ability to fight in the ring. Unfortunately, Edward's health began to deteriorate due to his large size and complications from other diseases. He passed away in 1904 at the age of 23 due to a lung hemorrhage. Number 7. Trincha Kiever, the giant from Edom, the tallest woman in history. Born in 1616 in Edom, Netherlands. She stood at 8 feet 4 inches or 2.54 meters. During her lifetime, Kiever's height attracted a lot of attention, and she became famous. It is said that people were willing to travel from afar just to see the giantess of Edom. Besides that, she was also often visited by royalty and nobility, including Prince Maurice of Nassau. She died at the young age of 17 in 1633 with the cause of her death still a mystery. At number eight is Zheng Jinlian, born in 1964 in Hunan Province, China, standing at eight feet 1.75 inches or 2.48 meters. From a young age, Zhang's rapid growth was evident, and by the age of four, he had already surpassed the height of adults in his area. Zheng Jinlian's body condition was troublesome for his family as they struggled to meet his unique needs such as clothes and shoes that could accommodate his size. In addition, Zhang faced health complications related to her height, including scoliosis and mobility issues. Zhang's height attracted the attention of medical professionals who sought to understand the cause of her extraordinary growth. Unfortunately, his family could not afford the medical treatment needed to stop his growth and alleviate some of his health problems. Eventually, Zhang Jinlian passed away in 1982 at the age of 17. At number 9, we have Sandy Allen, the kind-hearted giant. Sandra Elaine Allen, affectionately known as Sandy, was born in 1955 in Chicago, USA. She stands at 7 feet 7.25 inches or 2.32 meters. During her childhood and teenage years, Sandy struggled with problems due to her height, such as finding clothes and shoes that fit and enduring teasing and bullying from her peers. As she entered adulthood, she came to terms with herself, began to accept her unique body condition, and began to see it as an opportunity rather than an obstacle. In the mid-1970, Sandy contacted Guinness World Records to inquire about the tallest woman in the world. After verifying her height, she was officially recognized as the tallest living woman, and her life changed drastically. After that, other doors began to open, such as being cast in the movie Sideshow in 1981. Sandy's newfound fame led her to many opportunities, including television appearances, speaking engagements, and a role in the movie Sideshow in 1981. Again, Sandy developed problems common to people of giant stature. In addition, he also developed diabetes, arthritis, and difficulty walking and died in 2008 at the age of 53. Flying back to America, there was Bernard Coyne. Born in 1897 in Anthon, United States, he stood 8 feet 2 inches or 2.49 meters tall. Growing up on a farm in Iowa, Coyne was known for his gentle and quiet nature, which earned him the nickname, The Silent Giant. Coyne's height continued to increase throughout his life, and he faced many health issues. Tragically, Bernard Coyne passed away in 1921 at the age of 23 due to complications related to his enormous size. The last one is Don Kohler, born in 1925 in Denton, Montana, stood at 8 feet 2 inches or 2.49 meters. Kohler's extraordinary height was the result of a pituitary gland disorder, which led to excessive production of growth hormone. Kohler and his twin brother were born to parents with above average height. Their mother is 178 centimeters tall, and their father is 188 centimeters tall. He began a period of abnormal growth when he was 10 years old. The Guinness Book of World Records confirmed Kohler had a standing height of 249 centimeters at his peak. 
During the 25 years Kohler worked as a salesman at Big Joe Manufacturing Company, he considered his size to be an advantage, as potential customers often wanted to meet him out of curiosity, and they always remembered him.